What's up guys, Jason Messi here and welcome to episode number 5 of Neymar's Road to Barcelona. As you see, there's our team and how it's coming along. It's looking pretty good now. Uh, we've got a full Barca squad apart from the right back. And here's the aim of this series, the bonuses for Neymar and the rules. As always guys, if you're looking for more team coins, go check out idgbay.com. The links will all be below in the description. Also, if we could smash 1,000 likes, as always, it'd be massively appreciated. And also, if you're not following on Twitter guys, I would also recommend that. That will be below in the description as well. It's at GCIMessi. And I can talk to you guys on stuff and uh, let me know what you think of this series. Uh, a lot of you seem to be enjoying it a lot so far, so I'm really happy about that. And uh, that is the first goal of the episode. It's pretty damn good. Good goal there from Cesc Fabregas. And finally, if you missed uh, today's first video, which was uh, some more FIFA 14 potential cards and ratings, I actually covered the likes of Didier Drogba and Robin Van Persie. So if that takes your interest, uh, click the annotation on the screen as well at the end of the video. So Benzema then goes and scores and makes it 1-0. Uh, we do get unlucky to have a uh, shot through Neymar, I think that was, who seems to be cutting out onto the wing this game. I'm not sure why, but it seemed to work a little bit as I got that goal there. And then shortly after, towards the end of the match, we've got a chip with Pedro, which is a decent finish. And uh, today, it is so damn hot. Like, literally, I've, I've been struggling to do any videos today uh, since the fact I've got a fan and it's just so hot. It's, I'm not used to this uh, being from the UK. I'm not moaning, but... It is getting quite uh, human and stuff, which uh, can be quite annoying. So we got ourselves, uh, pick ourselves up a uh, Montoya, who is a good, good right back. And that means now we have got a full Barcelona squad. Um, obviously, we're playing Abadal at centre-back, but that's how things are going to roll, uh, at least for now. And the th uh, second game of the episode, we come against a pretty random team. Very, very poor uh, chemistry. And there's some random, random players as well. But we start things off with a good, good shot for there through Neymar. Unlucky not to get a goal. Um, but then we do consider penalty, quite sloppy that from Eric Abadal. Let him go past him and he kind of took him out. Um, and Oscar Cardozo was up to step up and he starts at home. That guy is very, very slow, but his shooting in this game is absolutely quality, guys. Um, I'm not sure if you ever tried his man of the match card. I thought that was horrendous, but his normal card was very, very fun and uh, fun to use. Um, as long as you get someone fast next to him, that is. But we are going quite well. We're 2-1 up. And uh, he gets quite unlucky there through Cardozo. And again, this is a very, very good save from Valdez. Um, Barcelona goalkeepers, for me uh, so far, have been terrible. Valdez isn't much better. He comes out for corners, tries punching it, and misses the punch. It's uh, pretty annoying considering they should be stopping them. Um, but we are 4-1 up now, so we're cruising. And uh, he does get a goal back there through, I think it's Cardozo again. Um, very, very poor defending in my half there. But Neymar instantly responds and he gets himself another goal. Uh, but guys, it is question of the daytime. And uh, this one is to be all related to FIFA. And that is to be, what is your favourite FIFA? Um, my favourite FIFA is probably FIFA 12. Uh, Since the fact that Ultimate Team 11, I never got to play as much. Um, I played a few games, but... I never got to use the uh, the Brasilvas and such because um, I've not really done YouTube and that for that long compared to uh, like go back to FIFA 11. FIFA 12 is when I basically started and I love that game. So comment below what has been your favourite ever FIFA. We head into the third match of the episode and this guy has got a very solid team. Uh, he's got uh, the transfer to Bermiang and the uh, Marco Royce and also a blue far fan on the wing. So he's not going too bad there and uh, the goalkeeper again was playing quite well for him. And he starts things, uh, well, doesn't start these off, but he smashes the bar, sorry, there for an Aubameyang shot. And both goalkeepers were having very, very good games. His especially, until uh, I think this is Thiago, uh, breaks the deadlock with a nice finish from outside the box or just inside, wherever that was. And uh, he, my, my preview's lagging a lot. Oh, there we go. But he instantly replies with a nice bicycle kick there from Marco Royce. Um, not really stopping that. And uh, Marco Royce was really destroying me this game. His pace is too fast for Abadal and Mascherano. Um, if I do get rid of one of the defenders, it will be uh, getting rid of um, Mascherano as he is shit. But the uh, the next goal, next goal, yeah, the next goal came from a Scherler rebound, and that is three one. And uh, that's another loss. We're getting too many losses this series so far, guys. Uh, it's because I'm struggling with defence a lot. I don't know why. Just I'm finding it difficult to be able to defend against uh, very, very pacey players. So I bring in Jared PK. I did listen to the comments as I always do. Um, and people are telling me to pick up a Jared PK because he's the best defensive player Barcelona have got, uh, in my opinion, at least centre back wise. And um, I think the partnership between him and Abadal could be very, very, very nice. The fourth and final game we come against is a 4 5 1 Brazilian team. And we start things off with a bang. That is a superb goal there from Cesc Fabregas. And uh, what pitch is this, guys? I absolutely love this stadium. That colouring on that pitch looks amazing. Um, this is, again, I'm away, so I have no idea. But I think that's look. it looks more realistic kind of thing. I like the colours. They look cool. Um, but Cesc Fabregas has got a, a massive long shot and didn't realise how good it was. And uh, Paulinho, he scored there. 
but a very, very good block that from Montoya, if, if I'm correct. Uh, I think it's him at least. Been very poor defending. Let's Wellington in. And he is, uh, actually that's two on to me still. And I'll make it three on through a Neymar goal. So uh, we've got a bit of room now. And I think we can get another one. Yes, a great turn. And a very, very nice finish into the bottom corner as well through uh, Neymar. So that is 4-1. That is the 4-1 victory as well. Um, I'm not sure how many points we got on the board. But Neymar did score two goals that game. So it's 2,000 coins. And we have got... We have got six points, guys. So we are still in Division 3 and uh, looking to get promoted too, guys. But as always, if you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe for daily feed for content. And don't forget the question and day in the comments below. So I'll see you later next time. I'll see you later next time. What was that? I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>